Hey all, it's Matt, your Average Gamer, and for this video we're going to be covering 5 more fun builds at Rune Level 150. Before we continue though, be sure to check out the links in the description below to support the channel for 3 extra months free on a yearly subscription to ExpressVPN, the VPN I use and trust, and 20% off G Fuel, the code, your Average Gamer. I hope everyone is having a great start to the holiday weekend, and for this first one here, this is the Dex Lightning King build, where we're going to be swapping between two different weapons in the Dragon King's Craig Blade and the Bolt of Brandsax. Even though these weapons are two different types, it's actually really fun to swap between the two because they scale similarly, so you can use the Dragon King's Craig Blade up close, and then you can switch to two-handing the Bolt of Grandsax to give you a little bit of range as well and more lightning damage. This combination is actually somewhat difficult to pull off. I never put it into a build video myself because I usually like running two weapons that coincide with one another. However, switching between the two gave me a challenge and a really fun playstyle where you get to use two different cool ashes of war that both scale off of dexterity. This is on New Game Plus 7 as always, so everything has a little bit of extra HP and does a little bit of extra damage as well. That being said though, switching between the two was something that took a little bit of learning, but once I did, I ended up enjoying this build a lot. Speaking of which, if there's a weapon or build you want me to cover or do a build for in general in the future, definitely be sure to put it in the comment section. I'm always reading the comments, I'm always responding to the comments, and basically if you put it there, odds are it eventually will get done, as long as it's something that can be viable for New Game Plus and beyond. I'm also going to start doing some early and mid-game builds soon as well. So that you can see the whole concept here is to get up close and personal with the Dragon King's Craig Blade Ash of War and then when you're at a distance you can use the Bolt of Grand Sax to do some damage and charge that up and get in some extra lightning damage as well. Let's go over equipment for this fun build and setup. For equipment we have the Dragon King's Craig Blade plus 10, Bolt of Grand Sax preferably plus 10 as well, any seal will do, random set of armor on if you want to check that out, Godfrey Icon, Ritual Swords Talisman, Lightning Scorpion Charm, Shard of Alexander, Lightning Tear, Faith Tear, let's talk about stats for this build. Now if you don't want to invest in Faith you can use the Golden Val Ash of War and we have 60 Vigor and 65 Dexterity for a well rounded build that makes very good use of the Dragon King's Craig Blade and the Bolt of Grand Sax. And the next build up here is another fun one, and this is going to be the Spinning Scavenger build, where we're going to be using Blood Flame Blade in combination with the Scavenger Curve Sword and Spinning Slash. Spinning Slash is a really fun Ash of War to use, and when you're using it on a bleed build, you can build up a lot of successive attack damage on top of the bleed procs, giving you a whole bunch of damage in general. As you can see with the Godskin Apostle here, we're able to take him down fairly quickly with the combination of Blood Flame Blade in the Scavenger Curve Sword. Let's talk about equipment. For equipment, we have the Keen Scavenger Curve Sword. We're using Blood Flame Blade. Any seal will do. We have the White Mask on, Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Ritual Swords Talisman, Lord of Blood's Exaltation, Shard of Alexander. We have the Thorny Tier, Faith Tier. Let's talk about stats. And for stats here, we're once again a dexterity build. You can actually do both these first two builds with the same identical stats. We're using Blood Flame Blade, we have Golden Vow, and then we're using Flame Grant Me Strength as well. We have 60 Vigor, 25 Mind, 26 Endurance for a well-rounded build that builds up a lot of successive attack hits as well as bleed. It's a very damaging build. And the next one up here is on the Curved Grade Club. Now, for a recent video, I did this with Prayerful Strike and Sacred Affinity because it has really good faith scaling, so I decided to add Flaming Strike, my favorite Ash of War, with the Curved Grade Club to see how much damage I could get, and between the posture damage and the damage from the Ash of War Flaming Strike, it has fantastic AR. Even with the seed that it gets in Faith, its AR is really great, especially when you set the sword on fire. You're going to get, I think, between 8 and 900, something like that, as far as the AR goes, giving you excellent damage with the Ash of War Flaming Strike itself, as well as good damage in general because it's such a big, basically bonk weapon. This one is definitely worth a try for Faith builds. By the way, if you've been following to this point and you're not subscribed, now's the time to subscribe to this channel if you love Elden Ring like myself and want to continue to have fun builds, basically enjoy the game as much as we can until we wait for DLC, definitely be sure to hit that sub button because you're not going to want to miss out. We're going to continue to keep the game interesting and hopefully by February we hear something. 
That's at least my hope that we hear something by February. Some people are thinking it could be released in February. I'm not sure about that, but I think at the very least we're going to get a teaser or trailer around then. I can't see them just completely not doing anything for the two-year anniversary. We should at least hear something. Let's jump into equipment for this awesome faith build. For equipment, we have the Flame Art Curved Grade Club. Any seal will do. I was using the Giant Seal if you want to run some fire incantations with this. We hit 51 poise. We have the Green Turtle Talisman, Ritual Swords Talisman, Fire Scorpion Charm, Shard of Alexander. Then we have the Fire Tier, Faith Tier. Now let's talk about stats. For stats, it's a Faith-based build. With the Faith Tier, we're getting to 75 Faith. We have 60 Vigor, 25 Mind, 26 Endurance, and we're using Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength, which will beat out Halish Shabiri in this case because we're doing both fire and physical damage. And the next one up here is a really fun Madness build in the Mad Gideon build. This is one where we're basically going to be using the Black Dumpling with part of Gideon's set as well as Frenzied Burst and a couple of the Madness incantations in Elden Ring. Charging Frenzied Burst will give you more damage, and as you can see on this dragon, who does take extra fire damage, by the way, I think the first hit was around like 8,000 or something, which was pretty crazy. Overall, we have the offhand Frenzied Seal for the boost, and then we're using the Erd Tree Seal for the good faith scaling. And as we get up close to a larger target like this dragon here, we can also use the Flame of Frenzy, which you can charge two for a ton of fire damage. You can see here the damage is quite good. And then when you're at a distance, you can switch back to Frenzy Burst. This is one I really like using. I enjoy using this. By the way, I ended up using Flame Grant Me Strength because I didn't want to use Hal to end up just proccing the helm all the time. I figured I'd be doing enough damage to proc it once and then be good. That way I didn't have to worry about losing more HP, but I don't think I ended up proccing it. Let's jump into equipment. For equipment, we have the Erd Tree Seal plus 10. The Frenzied Seal doesn't really matter as long as it's in the offhand. We have the Black Dumpling, part of Gideon's set, and I think the Scaled uh, Pants on. Godfrey Icon, Ritual Swords Talisman, Fire Scorpion Charm, Flox Canvas Talisman, Fire Tier, Faith Tier. Let's jump into stats. For stats, it's another Faith build. Just like the one before it, you could run this one with the same type of build and setup. You wouldn't need the shard in this case, but they're actually fairly close because they're both based off of fire damage. For this one here, you can see we're using the Flame of Frenzied, Frenzied Burst, Golden Vow, and then either Halish Shabiri and Flame Grant Me Strength, and we have 60 Vigor and 75 Faith. And I want to show something here, if you didn't know this about Frenzied Burst, if you're ever running a Faith build, especially one of the locations I can specifically think that this is very helpful for is the Eagle Run, where you're in Faramazula, where you can pretty much take out all of the Eagles with Frenzied Burst. It is fantastic for mob control at a distance. Seriously, if you haven't tried out Frenzied Burst for mobs, definitely give it a try, especially if you're running a Faith build anyway. Odds are you're probably going to have a setup that's going to be very good in terms of using Frenzied Burst with it as well. You can snipe out mobs and make your life easier. Now for the next one up here, we have a very holiday-oriented build in the Sacred Santa. This was just something funny I thought of, so I decided to grab some uh, heavy armor and give myself a nice uh, white beard. And then we're using the hammer with Prayerful Strike on this build. And then you're going to see in a clip after this, we're also going to be using Noble's Presence. Now, interesting as far as this goes, two-handing regular hammers actually does fantastic posture damage. Really great posture damage you're going to get from that. So adding in Prayerful Strike, having the healing element, and the fact that it adds some nice poise damage as well, gives you a good combination to get in posture breaks, a good amount of damage, and heal while you're doing that. So all in all, it ends up being a very powerful build if you want to run something like this. Prayerful Strike, as you've seen in my videos recently, is something I'm using more and more now, given how much healing that you get from it. And if you get a little bored of the Blasphemous Blade and you want to try something else that's faith-based, that can heal you really well, Prayerful Strike is a fantastic substitute for that. Yeah, it really, truly is a very good Ash of War. Definitely something to try out if you haven't tried it out yet. For the majority of bosses in the game, you're going to get posture damage, you're going to get he you're going to get healing like crazy, and then you're going to get a lot of damage in general. Let's jump into equipment. For equipment, we have the Hammer in Sacred Affinity with Prayerful Strike. We have the Erd Tree Seal. We had a random set of armor on. We just went for heavy armor. We have the Shard of Alexander, Ritual Swords Talisman, Sacred Scorpion Charm, Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, Holy Tear. Faith tier, jump into stats. 
Once again, another faith-based build. So for this video, we did a couple of dexterity builds and a couple of faith builds. We're using Golden Vow, Flame Gary Strength, Noble's Presence, which I'm going to show off in a second. We have 60 Vigor, 25 Mind, 26 Endurance. We did hit 20 Strength as well for a well-rounded build for Prayerful Strike in the Sacred Santa. And something funny you can run with this that would fit the overall theme of having this heavy armor and just to make the build even more fun is if you want to throw in the God Slayer seal and then use Noble's Presence, you can get a lot of damage out of this and you can actually knock mobs down as well with this incantation. It's just something fun that you can add to the build if you're like me and you're always looking for different things to add to the build because it's going to fit your faith theme anyway and if you're fighting mobs you can knock them down with this uh, crazy and kind of ridiculous incantation that does a little bit of fire damage as well. Now this is a quick little video. We're going to be doing a bigger video shortly after this. Definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're looking for more Elden Ring content and you want to keep Elden Ring fun. Now we should be able to throw in one more video this week. I'm hoping to get a second video done. Hopefully it does get done because that's going to be a much bigger, longer video. Hopefully though you guys enjoyed this one as well and we'll continue making fun builds and we're going to do something really fun for New Year's too. I hope everybody has a great holiday weekend.